part of the um, training of doctors is this fundamental principle, do no harm. Uh, intervene when you can to help people, but make sure your intervention doesn't do harm. Well, we're intervening in the atmosphere by doubling the amount of carbon dioxide and also doing terrible things to the ozone layer, which is a, another problem. Uh, we're doing harm, or at least we're doing things that have an obvious potential for producing great harm. And we ought to be pretty sure we're not doing harm uh, before we are sanguine about continuing to do these things. I really think we should try to control uh, the amount of carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere, even if we're not certain, and I'm not sure we're not certain, but even if we're not certain that it's responsible for the global warming, I think we still ought to try to do what we can to control it. And the various things we can do, uh, they're all difficult, and in fact, they're all rather negative in the short term, uh, and it's not politically popular to do any of the things. I, mean, I think one obvious thing would be to uh, put a heavy tax on petroleum at the gas station so that people have an incentive to buy cars that are more fuel efficient and perhaps to drive less. Uh, they have taxes like that in Europe. It hasn't destroyed their economy. Uh, it isn't a politically popular thing to do because it doesn't help us this year or next year. It's a matter of helping us in our grandchildren's lifetime. But our grandchildren, uh, well, uh, with a few exceptions, generally don't vote. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> our great-grandchildren certainly don't vote. And uh, politicians don't care very much about people who don't vote. Yeah, it seems like we uh, were a little short on on foresight in, in in the anybody looking to the long term, and everything seems to be made on the short term. Right, so, right. But, I mean, there are things we do which are absolutely crazy. Like um, we have uh, lower standards for fuel efficiency for trucks. And uh, maybe that's necessary economically, but we classify SUVs as trucks. Uh, I don't understand that. It's, no. it's obviously to gain a few votes in the auto industry towns. Our decisions are clearly not made with our descendants in mind.